Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and long overdue, I finally have an update on one of my most popular videos, the review of the Xiaomi Router 3. In follow-up, I grabbed two more of these, which they're a little bit different, but kind of the same. So we have the official international or the one that comes in English version uh, and we have the newer upgraded one the 3 3g version i don't know why they call it 3g but that's the one with the upgraded hardware uh the one with the dual core mediatek uh, 880 megahertz processor 256 megabytes of ram this is ddr3 samsung compared to the old one that had only 128 ddr2 memory uh, this one international comes with uh, everything on English unfortunately the 3G is still just on Chinese but as you know that's not a problem uh, if you guys seen my previous video um, once you install it you can use several browsers with their um, translating features so when you log into the admin page you'll be able to kind of translate and read everything Google Chrome Edge they all have uh, translators of some for form and on top of that, if you have the app, if you have the Xiaomi app, that's, uh, that's uh, ideal. Everything is in English. You can install it. You can set it up, control it remotely. Uh, in fact, my original uh, Xiaomi Router 3, I have installed in, on a different continent and I'm co controlling it all the time. I've been using it for over a year and a half now without any problem. So these routers are excellent. Um, uh, choice if you don't want to spend a lot of money and you still want to uh, up-to-date technology on your router um, all of them are AC 1200 so you have wireless AC you have uh, 5 airheads <coughs> sorry uh, antennas uh, very strong uh, coverage uh, across my house uh, across apartments I never had experienced any problems with these um, you guys know that I have another Xiaomi router, the one with a hard drive, the older model. I use that constantly without any problems uh, whatsoever. Uh, so I have at least three now, four um, wireless routers from, from Xiaomi that uh, I'm using constantly, I'm testing. And over the years, I have not seen any problems with them. So those are actually cho excellent choices. So we're going to go ahead and open these boxes, see what's inside of the international version and the 3G version uh, and uh, cover the boxes and some of the options and I'm gonna do a, another video after that follow-up uh, comparison between the two the hardware uh, and some of the other features obviously the the 3G version has gigabit lands finally updated unfortunately the original one has only 100 megabits but for most people that's enough and as to be honest with you I haven't seen any problem using mine uh, with 100 megabits uh, again this is for connections that if your um, provider does not give you more than 100 megabits, it's ideal. But if you have a really strong and fast connection, then you're going to need to get the gigabit. Again, price wise, we have 20 to 25 dollars with the original Xiaomi 3 international version. And we have uh, 40 to 45 dollars uh, on the 3G. Very cheap again. I mean, uh, when you think of it, I got this one, this one, and if we consider the old one, less than $100 for three wireless routers, uh, <laughs> that's, that's a great deal. But enough of me uh, rambling, let's go closer, open these boxes, see what's new, or if it's the same, and uh, we, can, uh, we can talk about it a little bit more. I'll be right back. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and open both boxes, but before I go uh, ahead with the opening, uh, let me cover the boxes real quick. Um, quick note, I bought these two from Gearbest uh, and as always, you know, I use my own money so it's, that's not a sponsored review or anything like this. I'm a consumer like all of you, uh, so I grabbed these to test on my own. And let's quickly look at the back. So here, being in the international version, you can see everything is written down in English. Uh, all the features and options, let me zoom in here a little bit more so you can see uh, this is the original. Uh, router, so it has only 128 megabytes of DDR2 RAM. Um, then we have the two uh, LAN ports that are 100 megabits and uh, all the other things including the USB 2 port on the back. Um, so if you scan through this information, that will help you actually a lot if you go to the other one. So the information here is in Chinese obviously, but uh, pretty much the same as here. So if you look at the English, 
Yeah, it will help you actually translate the one in Chinese. <laughs> so that's a quick uh, little cheat. But on hardware, as you can see here, we have the 256 megabytes of DDR3 RAM, 128 megabytes of ROM, and uh, this is the Gigabit LAN C. And again, we have a USB 3 here instead of USB 2. So accessing your data uh, to that USB 3 um, attached storage or USB drive, it will be a lot faster. And again, here it is here with the uh, international version. So you can see in English and in Chinese. So uh, I'm not sure why this one is, uh, has a little bit more stickers and it's kind of branded China Telecom. Maybe it was a special for China Telecom, um, special edition or specially created for them. I'm not 100% I'm not sure, but um, as long as it works, I really don't care. So let's go ahead and open this one first. Um, let me see, do we need to cut these or I can just peel them off. I think I can just peel them off. There we go. So opening the box real quick. See what's inside. As if you remember my original video, there's not that many exciting things in these boxes. Uh, it's just the router uh, sitting kind of propped up with the antennas. Minor negative, a lot of people were asked about that. If these antennas come off of the router, uh, the answer is no. They're permanently attached and you cannot take them off. So here, how they look in the back. Let me prop them up a little bit so that you can see. So they are permanently attached to the router. You cannot twist them off, but that's okay. I think these antennas are excellent. They have enough gain and they are uh, very, um, very maneuverable. I guess you can move them in any direction you, you want. So in the back power you have, you have the one where your internet comes in from your modem or whatever. Um, source you have the two lands these are the 100 uh, megabits and you have the um, USB 2.0 right there on this side and a reset uh, pin hole and this is in the bottom you can see here some of the uh, other options let me, let me see if the camera will uh, fix in it there you go uh, well ventilated complete mesh on the bottom one of the things I really like is there's only one LED light that it's not very bright. So if you're using this router on a uh, kind of a bedroom or a place that you don't uh, want to be blinded in the middle of the night or you're sensitive to the light, it's not gonna bother you too much. Actually, the lights in the back, uh, if you place it by the wall, the light will bounce a little bit more. It will be brighter here than in the front. Uh, so that's, um, that's one of the things that it's really, I really like about this, uh, this one. It's very, uh, very subdued. So what else is inside the box? Uh, let's see if I lift that up. And that was the warranty card that fell. But as you can see, being international version, we have a European charger, which uh, I can use obviously here in the US with an adapter, but it has the U European style prong. Uh, and the power delivery, let me see what the power, power delivery is. Uh, if the camera again focuses on that. So we have 100, uh, and 10 100 to 220 volts so you can use that internationally no matter where you are and it's 12 volts one amp just in case you know something goes wrong with this one you can probably find a replacement uh, pretty easily uh, with the barrel style uh, plug at the end so yeah that's uh, that's pretty much it minimalistic uh, packaging not a lot of options even not even a line cable but to be honest, with uh, with the price of less than thirty dollars for this router, I think that's that's not a huge issue. So let's move that to the side and open the the new one. Uh, kind of odd. This, the stickers here are, are yellow. I don't know if if that indicates that they have been opened. I, I hope not, or if just the way it is. I think I'm gonna have to cut this one because I cannot peel it off easily. So opening this one, it's exactly the same box. I think uh, Xiaomi are using the shell, just printing different information, but inside it's a little bit different. So orange instead of white, uh, same style, pull out drawer uh, box. And let's look at it. Okay, so we have a couple more stickers on this one compared to the original Xiaomi 3. We have this China Telecom. Again, unfortunately, that's not a sticker, but it's printed on. I don't know if we can remove it. If that bothers you, 
probably with some rubbing alcohol you can remove that and we have the uh, the code for the for the app that you can connect right away uh, let me see in the back here if I move the antennas out of the way so you will notice that they're a little bit different and obviously everything is gigabit and we have the USB 3 so why don't we why don't we grab the other one and just compare it this way so it would be easier for you to see the difference, even in colors and functionality that way. Uh, there it is. So uh, on the top is the original Xiaomi 3. As you can see, huh, different uh, WAN, different LAN, being 100 megabits. And camera focus, please. Being 100 megabits, there's only one light. And the USB 2 port is with the black inside. And then we have the new one where we have two lights for the gigabit all across and we have blue for the USB 3.0. So exactly the same shell, different hardware. Uh, and uh, that's pretty much it. That's the only difference, the hardware inside. Outside, I think it's all the same. We have some more information here about the China Telecom version, some more information on Chinese. But again, if you look at that one, if you pause the video, you'll see that it's the same information but this is in English and we have here on Chinese uh, so what else is in the box again let me move that out of the way and see what else we have there again if you guys know what this says in English uh, go ahead and pause and, and translate it as some more information so we'll put that away and look at the charger inside oh interesting look at that this one actually is supplying a line cable that's new. Okay, I like that. Now you have a LAN cable with this one, which is great. In case there's not one, you know, rolling around your, your apartment, your house. And uh, charger, charger, let's see the charger. What's the power delivery on this charger and how different it is compared to the original Xiaomi 3. Okay, Chinese style prong, great. This is the uh, same as in the States. And the output is 1.2 amps, so 2 vo 12 volts, 1.2 amps, so it's a little bit more powerful than the other one. Uh, Xiaomi logo, very nice charger by the way, very, uh, reminds me of uh, the other one I have for the, uh, for the hard, hard disk uh, based uh, wireless, wireless router. And we have the same style uh, barrel prong at the end. Uh, one of the other negatives that I've mentioned in my original video is that these cables are not too long. So if you really uh, want to use them, uh, if your outlet is away from uh, the actual router, you're going to have to use an extension cord because this is uh, probably four feet. Uh, if we grab them together, yeah, they're about four feet. They're not even five feet long. So that's slight negative. But again, I think considering the price and you probably can grab uh, extension cord pretty uh, cheaply, it's not gonna be a problem whatsoever. Uh, so that's pretty much it guys. This is the unboxing and quick overview of, of both routers now. Uh, for the next video, I am gonna plug both of them in. I'm gonna set them up with the uh, app. I'm gonna look at the web interface and show you how that's done. But uh, I've said that before on my original review, this is a great buy considering the features, the price and how stable those have been. And my original one, like I said, has been over a year and a half and I never had to even reboot it. It runs, it never freezes, uh, no problem whatsoever, no issues. So I think these are definitely a great buy. So stay tuned to the channel, hit the thumbs up if you like the video, um, and if you're new, subscribe. There are a lot more technology videos coming in on routers and other adapters and all kinds of other technologies. So um, that's pretty much it, guys. Till next time, you have a wonderful day. Bye. Hey, guys, today we looked at the uh, Xiaomi routers that are sitting behind me here, the two, the international versions of the original Xiaomi uh, Router 3 and the China Telecom. 3G. I don't know if it's special for China Telecom, but that's uh, that's what's printed on the actual uh, router. I think there's not a lot of difference, uh, especially on the outside. They both look the same. Uh, they all have, use the same design and the same shell. Uh, only the hardware is different. I think it's a well uh, proven uh, design 
this is uh, the China Telecom, the 3G, and this is the original 3. Uh, so main differences again to recoup, we have wireless uh, uh, AC on both, but the uh, differences are 256 megabytes of RAM on the 3G now. Uh, this is DDR3 compared to the 128 megabytes of DDR2 of the old one. Uh, we have gigabit LAN finally all across for the WAN and for the LAN and we have USB 3.0 so you can attach faster uh, storage and access it better. Uh, we'll, we'll test how everything works together. I think we'll not have a problem um, considering the design is very well thought out with complete mesh on the bottom to, to ventilate even uh, having now hard, uh, higher rate um, hardware. Uh, probably delivering more heat considering that it's dual core MediaTek processor clocked at 880 megahertz uh, of each core comparing to the old one which was only single core 580 megahertz so that was very very cool we'll see how that's gonna go uh, but I have I have no doubts so we're gonna go for the full review in the next video for now uh, stick around look at some of the old videos check the original review uh, this way we're gonna compare it and see how all these routers span together but for me I once again I want to say this is a great buy excellent price and it's definitely worth your money and time uh, so thank you guys you have, uh, you have a wonderful day and I'll see you on the next video bye